Hi, Gian Piero. Thanks again for accepting our invitation and joining this interview during Italia GRI. It's great to welcome you here. If you could please kickstart just uh, explaining more details about your current role with Castello SGR, it would be great. Okay, I'm the CEO of Castello SGR and the Animal Alternative. So I'm the responsible of all alternative division and private markets in Anima. Anima was the, uh, is the most important independent asset manager in Italy with uh, 195 billion IUM, where the most important part is in the liquid market. But uh, we are, uh, we, uh, today we have 4.5 billion in the alternative market. Understood. And when looking at the Italian market specifically right now, how do you see the buying appetite from investors uh, when looking at hospitality tr and hotel transactions? Okay. The attraction for the investors in the hospitality is uh, too high. Mm -hmm. Why? Because typically it's a value-added market mm -hmm. because all investment normally is a repositioning of mm -hmm. the asset. So these uh, need the... Uh, this strategy needs the value-added capital to deploy it in the, in the market. And so I think the appetite is a very high, not only in this moment, but for the future, mm -hmm. because the concentration and the penetration of the brand in Italy is uh, too small. Okay? Okay. Actually, we are approximately the 5-6% of the market. Uh, and the peer European P mm -hmm. okay, is to is a double or triple on this uh, percentage on the market. The second is in Ita in Italy we have a lot of structure mm -hmm. because the, the at the moment the number is thirty three thousand uh, uh, structure in the hospitality mm -hmm. with one million rooms. So this uh, key number is immediately to understand that. Where is there is a lot of structure with a small number of room for structure. Okay. And uh, the third is Italy is the most important in market in Europe uh, mm -hmm. for the luxury uh, point of view because uh, we have uh, the most important number of luxury destination. Yeah. Not only Venice, Milan, Rome. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Florence, but also other uh, destinations like, I don't know, Capri, Cortina, Portofino. So mm -hmm. I think there is the possibility to create more destination. Mm -hmm. A typical example is the Puglia. 25 years ago, Puglia was not a luxury destination. Yeah. It's only for family mm -hmm. okay, and middle target uh, people. Today is the preferred destination for the luxury brand and the high network in it. When you look at the market fundamentals and what are keeping investors' confidence, do you see uh, future challenges for them or uh, new competitors entering the market making a life difficult for these investors looking for opportunities in Italy or you have a lot of space for everyone? I think we need to split uh, the analysis because we have uh, the investor side analysis yeah. and uh, today like in all part of the real estate, the 75% of the capital that uh, uh, all uh, investors use in Italy is more in capital. Yeah. Okay. So I think there is the possibility to grow yeah. with uh, Italian capital. And this is very important to create value on the, on the, on Italy. On Italy. Mm -hmm. Second, I think there is a lot of space, not only in the typical destination for the hotel, so Milan, Rome, Venice, and Florence. But in the last 18 months, uh, what we see on the market uh, is uh, a grow in the vacation system mm -hmm. and also the operator that uh, want to buy a uh, chain or small operator yeah. in the resort uh, or the vacation system. And so this is very important because until two years ago, this is not. So, I think that uh, we need to work uh, to create this. Uh, in Italy, there is a, a lot of wall to enter in the market yeah. because the urbanistic uh, yeah. uh, is, uh, is too complicated. So we don't need the new asset, yeah. but we need to refurbish 
the existing ones. The existing ones. In the end of the event, we are having a urban regeneration topic. What you see as the most challenging aspect of urban regeneration when it comes to Italy right now? Do you think uh, it's in terms of licensing, approval, or do you see uh, a good way of relationship between public and private sector? How, how do you see this environment in Italy specifically? Okay, uh, so this is the real goal, because, mm -hmm. uh, but we need to split also in this case uh, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, two markets. Uh, yeah. Primary market with the uh, principal town, Milan, yeah. Rome, where it is uh, more easy, but the time is too long for mm -hmm. your organization. And the second in the secondary location, yeah. because when you discuss in the secondary destination, mm -hmm. you don't have the structure of the municipality like yeah. Milan or Rome. True. Okay, so it's too difficult and you need the competence of the local asset managers to work in this business. Yes. And we are currently at a GRI club event and the Italian conference together with a lot of preeminent players here. How does this event and other GRI club activities uh, bring value to you in Castello, your company? But I think the networking is too important, the international networking. Uh, but also to every moment to discuss uh, about uh, this issue you uh, mentioned, to uh, analyze very well uh, mm -hmm. where we are and where we want to go. Okay. It okay. was great, Giampiero. Thank, Thank you very much for the interview. Okay.